What's up everyone? We are out here today catching some beauty smallmouth bass. We're drop shotting them. Stick with us and we'll walk you through this lethal technique. All right, we just got out here. I'm gonna start off with one of these Berkeley Max Scent flatworms. I've got that on a half ounce weight and I have marked some fish back here. I'm just gonna cast that out, let that sink to the bottom. There's a bit of a light breeze, so I'm just gonna drift across this shoal. You can see the seagull sitting on it. I'm just gonna pull this across here, working it nice and slow. Nibble fish. Small mouth. All right, settle down. Easy. First fish of the day. These flatworms are pretty awesome. They just have so much vibration in the water. That little bit of a tail, that should drop off to 15 feet. Oh, broke off. Dang. All right. Not how I wanted to start the day, losing. Felt like a good one when I set the hook. So here we have a bunch of Berkeley Fusion 19 drop shot hooks and there's a pretty Im important way to rig one of these hooks. You can see just how small these hooks are. But what I'm gonna do is come down here, find my tay gun. Sometimes on these small eyes, I'll run that end of the line through, turn around and pull it back through. So it's basically gonna look like that. And right now I wanna leave a longer tag end because that's where I'm gonna put that drop shot weight. I'm gonna make a loop in my line, put that back through. Basically I'm doing a polymer knot. Like so, I'm gonna put the hook through that, put it down. So here's an important thing when you're rigging your drop shot. You are going to have your drop shot weight below your hook, right? So if I leave it like that, that hook could lay down. But if I take this tag end and run it back down through the eye, you will see how that hook sits out like that. You can kind of see that. I'm gonna put my drop shot weight on the bottom. These clip on real easy. You can just push them through. And it's just like a friction fit. In case you get snagged on something, this will break free. So you don't have to keep resetting your lead here. And again, this is one of these Berkeley max scent flatworms and it just sits there and quivers oh so nicely so i'm gonna just nose hook that and have that sit out and i'm just going to allow that to sit on bottom that weight and just bounce it that's what those fish like
See that hook right in the top of his mouth. Let's get on this. Nice little small mouth. And watching for a fish on the grass. Saw him on the screen. Popped him. Beautiful. Come on. That's textbook. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Right in the top part of that lip. Nice. Was coming down the lake, just changing spots. Caught a, a few fish this morning and decided to move, relocate. And I was just running, staring at my graph and saw a bit of a bar. Tops out around 24 feet. And first drop, boom, beauty bass. Look at that. Nice. Classic spot right on that point. Oh, there's a bunch with them. We're gonna come back and hit this spot. Look at this. That's what we're after. Beautiful right in the top part of the mouth. Look at that. Feels like another. Times like this, your hands don't work quick enough. for that mouth just button him oh, beauty the drop shot I tell you those flat worms from Berkeley they are getting the job done Oops, there we go this is really becoming like taking Candy from a baby. Come on. Oh yeah, big one. Come on. Some grass up here. There we go. Look at that fish. Wow. Come on. Stay hooked. Ah. <laughs> yes. Son. 
Look at that. Would you look at it? <laughs> yes. That's a beauty bass right there, right in the top part of that mouth. <laughs> Another tank, baby. Drop shotting the edge of weed lines. Here it is, the end of July, almost the beginning of August. And we are catching some buttes. Yes, I'll put that in the for a photo. Yes! That's what you want. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Nice. Right in the top part of that mouth again. Pops right out. <laughs> Not as big as the last one, but you know what? A day of those makes a fun day of fishing. This is beautiful. This is a tank. Giant. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Right in the top part of the mouth. That's that power bait flatworm. <laughs> beautiful. Throw them in the live wall to get some pictures. Yes! I'll be, uh, I'll be super quick. Oh, no worries. Like I said, we're trying to wrap them up. Okay. Anything out there today or no? Oh, yeah, man. We smoked them. Really? Yeah. Like bass or just? Ah, uh, bass, yeah. I uh, just drop shotting. What does that mean? I've never seen some. What's that mean? Drop shotting? Yeah. Oh, dude. See, me, I sound like a regular jig with my kids. Oh no, dude. <laughs> um, so you just have to, like your weight, okay. and then just a uh, regular, yeah, a regular, and a little tiny like flat so one. Yeah, you're just boom, 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 like on these nice slow drops, and they just like it's lethal. Well, you know what? Keep your spot, but well, dude, it's it's no secret. Like it, the shoals going through, yeah. it's just like you're fishing in. 15 to 25 feet of water just but just let it go down yeah it's lethal there's another guy yeah you gotta do the dropping what is that yeah that's drop shotting just oh, a weight okay. on the bottom yeah and you don't get hung up in the rocks and stuff too like normal jigs where you'd break off and, and that's probably what you would do with the weed as well right like oh yeah like most of the cases like 15 to 20 feet you're past like you're fishing the edge of the weed line and towards yeah. deep so you're not really getting snagged up or hung up yeah, it was wicked. <laughs> Here, man. <laughs> hey? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. So, take your kids out. Those are the weights to go on the bottom. Your hook will go like 18 inches up. Oh, no, dude. Dude, I got lots, man. Are you sure? Yeah. Holy Thanks, man. I'm Blaine, <laughs> by the way. COVID handshake, yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Taylor Wright. Yeah, I think I've seen you a few times out here. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, you'll smoke them. You'll smoke them. 